I think the ILM program is an amazing program. It's, it gives you opportun an opportunity to learn and grow in a way that you just would, could not replicate in a classroom. Absolutely not. Because it makes you think so, so much about yourself and look at your own values and beliefs and, and maybe change some of those values and beliefs. So my placement was in Lesotho, which is a small landlocked country in sub-Saharan Africa, totally surrounded by South Africa. It's um, quite a small country, similar size and population to Wales, and of course it has the mountains as well, so more similarities. My placement was with the Lesotho Council of NGOs, which is an umbrella organisation that looks after NGOs and has about 200 members. Um, I went there to help them with their communication strategy, so I, I wrote a strategy while I was there, and also to look at, at ways to, uh, that they could get their message across and, and publicise what they do. I think the, probably the biggest thing I learned was about myself, but also how to make more, do more with less then. So, you know, the, the resort, they haven't got as great resources as we have at our fingertips all the time. You know, I took my own laptop because they wouldn't have had a laptop for me if I hadn't. So those resources, no printing, all those things are very different, I think, to the way we, we work in Wales. We're used to having all these things at our fingertips and it makes you reevaluate and then look for different ways of doing things because obviously you're not going to have massive print runs, you're not going to be able to do lots of newsletters and, and have a big resource at your fingertips. So you need to find other ways of, of doing things. Um, and then there's a cultural difference, of course, as well. So people, what, what would work in the, in the UK would not necessarily work in Lesotho. So, um, when I got there, I very quickly identified, I went with a long list of things and then I very quickly identified that some of those things just weren't going to be happening. So I started off looking at what we could do and everybody, everybody uses a mobile phone. So I thought, right, if we want to get the LCN message out there, then a good way to do that would be through Facebook and YouTube and, and, and maybe Twitter. So we looked at, the first thing we did was Facebook and that worked really, really well because it's a very quick fix. Straight away, we're in there, we've updated a Facebook page, we've got new things on, we'd started doing a bit of a call for action type thing. If you'd like to help with this and you have the expertise, please come along and see us. That approach, and that worked very well. Quickly, people were responding to that in the Sutu. Then um, Twitter, not so much, that didn't work at all. And we, I abandoned that very quickly because they just didn't understand Twitter. Twitter clearly wasn't gonna work to get a concise message across, just wasn't happening. YouTube then, again, great success. Very simple, I'd never set up a YouTube channel before, but straight away we, we went in there, we used some uh, material that they already had to make a slideshow with some music. We used music from the local university, a choir from the local university as a backing, and some shots of Lesotho and, and what LCN did. Popped it on YouTube, massive, massive success. Lots of people ringing up saying, how do you do this? How do you do this? This is wonderful. And we did that together. We didn't, I'd never set up a YouTube channel. So we sat down together and so that the person who, who I've left behind now to do it will, will carry on with that and he knows what to do. And, and that was great, really, really successful thing. Um, then there was, you know, the communication strategy that I wrote helped, will help for their forward planning for quite some time was very conscious that I couldn't just go in and do things. It's not about me going in and doing something for two months and then walking away and leaving them without an idea. It's very much about working collaboratively and helping them to do the things for themselves and gain, look at their ideas and, and suggestions, work together so that they can carry on that programme after I've left. And they were so enthusiastic about it. It was something that hadn't even occurred to them before, but once they're up and running, you know, they're quite as able to do it as I, as I am, certainly. And I'm not, not particularly technically minded. So for them to run with it and see them so excited about, about something and, and something quite innovative that no, none of their counterparts, organisations had used before, and to carry on with that, and they will, I think, continue. And they might need an odd prop from me now and again, I think, <laughs> along the way, every now and again, but yeah. It was great. It was great to work in that way. I think all public sector, inf it's a benefit to all sub public sector employees to meet and, and consider a wide range of diverse people. You come into contact with different people in different circumstances every day. And the, the more you can stretch that knowledge and, and learn to read situations and people, it, it's so valuable in your day-to-day your -day work to understand people. And, and a programme, again, like ILO, and, and visiting a different country makes you look more closely, again, at yourself and, and at the people around you. And to bring that back to Wales 
and to, of course to improve the link between Lesotho and, and Wales because it's quite a strong Welsh, Welsh link is, is amazing. So as a long term um, development for, for myself I really think it's made a big difference. I've come back, I work differently, I, it's made me question my own beliefs and, and values, look at things from a different angle and to think about that in my professional life and my personal life. So I've learned, I came back just before Christmas, I very quickly realised that actually it didn't need me to take months planning for Christmas because actually the, the important things are being with your family. And that's just one example of it. So you, you scale through a lot of the materialistic things that we value so highly and actually realise that they're not important at all. And what is important are the people around you and the relationships you build with people and, and both in, in work and, and at home. So it, it's definitely changed me. It, it sounds a bit cliche to say it's life changing, but it has been life changing for me. I really think I'd like to continue to do something. I will continue working with Zolan Cymru now to, to foster the, the Wales Lesotho link. I intend to do that. I went to a, a fundraiser last night, in fact, and that was great. We saw a film and that was really good. And the High Commissioner was there and, and I intend to carry on that work, definitely. And look for other opportunities to do something similar because I think it's made such a difference to me.